Okay. Oh, ooh, it's at first. Welcome, everyone. Welcome in another session at Droify. Uh, for those who don't know me, and I know a lot of people do, and a lot, another part of the people in the room know Carl, but uh, I'm Axel. I'm the founder of Droify, and Droify is a platform that helps people to visualize their ideas and their stories, especially if you don't have the confidence to draw yourself. We started the platform two years ago. Um, we are around the world in 90 countries and 12,000 people are using it. Um, and since um, this month, we have a, a new evolution. We have Maya, who who joins the platform, which is an, uh, an AI assistant. Uh, and Carl will tell you a little bit more about that, but Carl will tell you more than only about Maya. He will talk about his journey uh, in visualization and uh, Droify. Um, so I will give the floor to Carl. Thanks, Carl, for being here and welcome. Have fun. Okay, thank you, uh, Axel. Um, as you see, on the screen, I hope you can see the shared screen. You see, I'm really happy to be here with you and I hope you as well are happy to be here with us, with the DrawFi community. And I'm so happy to share my story about visualization and how this made my life. So um, for me, everything starts with passion. Passion that I discover uh, as a child. So some people know me well and they know there's a real strong inner child of me. And discovering this inner child brought me to visualization. Yes, when I was a kid, I liked really much drawing, coloring. And my parents forced me to go to play piano. Today, I don't play piano, but I visualize. Um, a second, big thing I like is the human psyche. So what's in the brain of people? Not as a surgery, more in psychological way. So last summer, and I met some of you in Santa Cruz, I went to my biggest idol, uh, Robert Diltz, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And you know your idols. For example, I like a lot the music of Rammstein, which is a German group. I don't understand the lyrics, but the beats are really good. So either you can listen to that music and hopefully one day they come to my city and I will be there. And that what I, is my experience. You can read about psychology. You can read about NLP but the real stuff is being there. So through my whole career, my passion, I really want to go to the roots where it has been founded. And this is when you have passion, go really to the roots. A third passion of me is, and I see myself as a kid in front of the mirror singing, yeah, and um, presenting. And yes, today, my passion is being on stage. I like humor, I like metaphors, and it means that I'm on stage. So putting these three things together, passion for visualization, passion for the human psyche, passion for NLP, and passion being on stage as a keynote speaker, this brought me to my mission and vision. So from passion to focus, that's me. But what's my um, vision? So I see a world where people reveal their true passions, use their talents and are ready, are ready to conveniently tackle the challenges of the 21st century. And so me, I as a trainer, coach, facilitator and keynote speaker, I deliver visually innovative learning experiences founded on NLP. So those three passions I brought this back in my uh, mission, vision, and ambition. You will see uh, some small D in the corner of my presentation. That means that my whole presentation is made with Drawify. It means that you can make this yourself. I will explain you later how you do this. 
this is not rocket science. The technology behind uh, Drawify is really rocket science, but it's made to make yourself much more easy. And before I really go deeper into Drawify, I really want to share how, as I, uh, I see as a visual practitioner, visual practitioning through different angles. So today I will bring you how NLP, through the uh, glasses of NLP, through the educational glasses, to the scientific glasses, and through the AI glasses. So in today's presentation, I will go through those four domains, those four glasses I want to approach the visual practitioner. So it's my ambition that at least at the end of this session, people who don't identify themselves as a visual practitioner, that I will convince them that you are a visual practitioner. So everyone is visual practitioner. So I want to close that gap. Talking about gaps, the educational part. I have an eight-year-old daughter. Her name is Leonie. She's eight years old. She's in third primary school here in Belgium. And what I saw the last years, so first when she went to kindergarten, I saw she was always talking in images. I'm the duck this year. One year she was the a pineapple. And then another year she was the tiger. <laughs> and at first uh, primary school, she was a duck. Last year, when she went into the second uh, uh, primary school, uh, she came home and said, Daddy, I'm not an image anymore. I'm a number. I'm eight. Leonie Mortier. And then it reminded me to uh, a very good book about visualization, and I saw that drawing. We really, or the educational system in Belgium, in Europe, maybe globally, really invests in visual intelligence in the beginning, in kindergarten, uh, primary school. But when I saw at the age of eight, there's a crack in that evolution. And they really uh, put energy, which is really important, in the verbal intelligence. Is this a problem? No, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for us as visual practitioners to close the visual gap. So using Drawify, when you don't have the feeling, you don't have the uh, at this moment, the talent to draw, that's why Drawify exists. That's the purpose in my point of view. But back to that visual gap. It's my dream, my ambition. Uh, it's more a vision, a world where everybody takes the marker, starts Drawify and use visual language that we, um, educate the whole world with visual language. And last um, summer, I was in Santa Cruz NLP University, and I gave a workshop about visualization, and we were 15 nationalities all over the world. And everybody understood the visual language. So it's a common global visual language. Maybe, and it's my dream, it can bring peace in this world when you draw what you mean and that you don't rely on the details and words. So we have a purpose. Visualization through the NLP glasses. And I apologize already that I may be a bit technical, but for people who are not NLP, you can reach out to me. I can dive deeper into these details. But we are heroes, we are athletes in representational systems as visual practitioners. And representational systems, these are the modalities through which we perceive and process information. So a visual practitioner use the visual. 
we have golden eyes we see things and we capture those things so we and that's why i put it for me in the first place i see something i see some visuals even when someone talks to me i use the power of my imagination the power of visualization as visual practitioners people who are visual thinkers and transform information into visuals we are good listeners we have our auditory talent when i met um, some of graphic recorders the past years they were listening they were using their ears and put that information and transform this into real life visuals so a good visual practitioner is a good coach as well because we are able to listen so when you want to visualize listen read listen to that inner voice of you and transform this into a visual language for me in the third place but it's my personal order we use as well our kinesthetical intelligence so you see that marker um, and we use our kinesthetic in, um, intelligence by drawing by moving our hands and while we move our hands we see visuals um, uh, upcoming we listen so we use those three representational systems so we are olympic champions in representational systems so we use at the same time three senses and when you're a visual practitioner or you want to be a visual practitioner train your ears train your eyes and train that kinesthetic part of yourself visual practitioners are creating models of the world we practice the art of the unconscious while we draw while we visualize things while you visualize things either uh, digital or analog be aware that you have the capa capacity that real your reality you put it into a model of the world and that model of the world at that moment gives feedback to the new reality so we create a cycle we create art of the unconscious be aware uh, in these times of crisis all over the world last uh, uh, last um, spring i was here in a congress uh, about women for peace women around the peace table i drew all the whole conference and after the conference people came together and saw a message of peace and i think this model of the world what has been said that moment can be a global message that moment i didn't know that i was creating a visual based on the messages that were sent through the mouth of powerful women so model of the world you can create a model of the world messages as a visual practitioner using drawify when we can use drawify as a platform for bringing peace because we can express later i will tell you more let's through it let's look at this through the scientific way that's the third eye i want to look through uh, the um uh, the glasses i want to look through as a visual practitioner last year i was uh, invited for a workshop at the university of ghent and i was a last minute call so they called me last minute uh, there's uh, a workshop uh, but what you bring must be uh, evidence-based. Although I'm a couple of years into visualization, uh, actually the, the, the beginning was meeting um, Tony Buzan, the founder of uh, Mind Mapping. He brought me in contact with visualization. And I was, there's some 
yeah, critics about mind mapping and being evidence-based. Then I went into that workshop and the first thing I said to uh, my participants, um, sorry, uh, I feel a bit vulnerable at this moment. Uh, although being sorry, being vulnerable, don't say sorry, being vulnerable, be proud, being vulnerable. I said, what I say, what I will tell you here is not evidence based. At the end of the session, one of the assistants of the professor came to me, an educational assistant, and she said, Carl, did you ever hear about Alan Pavio and the double coding theory? I said, no, sorry, I'm more a practical guy. I'm not totally into uh, science. And then um, she explained that the double coding theory suggests that there are two separate but interconnected cognitive processing system of representing and remembering information. You have the verbal system, in this case, the flower, and the more nonverbal or uh, imaginal visual way. So when you see a flower and you hear the word flower, these are two separate systems that brings together. And actually, this is used in educational systems until uh, the age of eight. So going back to the educational, we as visual practitioners working evidence-based. This is for me a strength. When I go for tenders, I can say we are evidence-based using visualization. So Drawify is evidence-based or a tool creating visuals that are evidence-based. My first, fourth anchor of today, visual practitioners are embracing AI through Maya. So it means that the last month I've been uh, experimenting with AI, in a visual way. And since the beginning of this year, I was totally into AI. And first I was a bit afraid, but uh, I was taught, I learned that in, uh, being afraid of something is embracing your own uh, fears that tell something about what you want, what you really want. So when I'm afraid of AI, Maybe I'm interested some subconsciously of that, what AI delivers me. So um, AI, although I was a bit anxious about it, it gave me some new insights. So this is my introduction. I think you all came here to see what uh, um, Maya and Droify is and what it means uh, to me and what it can mean to you as well. So why am I relaxing a bit? Yeah. And opening my screen, uh, going to the Drawify um, um, tool, I invite you to think about your five passions you, you have. So it's an, an in-between exercise. What are your five passions? passions and while you think about this I will open the Drawify tool so I hear you back in a couple of minutes and maybe in between also if you have questions about everything uh, Carl has been talking about last 20 minutes uh, feel free to put them in the chat or to unmute yourself and ask Carl okay by the way, I didn't ask him to make so much um, a promo for Drive, <laughs> but he has been a really active user long before he become a, became a Drive Fire. He was a, one of our biggest fans. So I'm sorry, it's, he's not paid to do that, but I'm really grateful. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> yeah, because it really helps me. Uh, it helps me um, to work more efficient. Uh, this is not a paid job what I'm doing here. I really want to show um, as when you when you see Axel in her 
really artistic, graphical. She's uh, 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 rooftop, and I'm uh, somewhere in between. Oh my god! <laughs> and That's this, so this, ah, it's my impression. It's my subjective impression. Uh, but thanks to Drawify, using lots of visuals. So Drawify is a database of thousands of visuals made by those people who has that high visual intelligence and are willing to share their own artwork. And with those small pieces of artwork, you can make your own artwork. So this is using insights of really top visual practitioners, graphic recorders, we can uh, use this um, globally. So welcome to a world of visual storytelling. So when you open Rowify, you see this. And I will share you the code, a promo code as well, and as well the, um, the link to subscribe. So you have the Rowify dashboard. So I will give you some examples what I already made. So maybe you will recognize this. It's loading. So uh, you see my passion. Uh, I'm moving my body. <laughs> I'm moving this marker. Yeah, uh, I can. You see, these are all small elements that are existing and that I can integrate in this. But in this case, which is not AI only um human intelligence i have my own image how it looks so i can uh, upload some um extra so maybe i can invite uh this person to have a party on stage so i just i have a big fan who wants to dance with me on stage so i can add so this is actually my whole powerpoint that i uh, i made so this is an example. Instead of using other uh, presentation um, software, you can go with uh, online, go to Drawify and make your own slides with millions of combinations, trillions of combinations based on. So, well, uh, can I have going to ask a question? Can I? Um, I'm going to interrupt shortly. Uh, Anakya asks, how much time you spent to create an image like we just saw? Yes. Um, this is my speed. How long did it take to make this presentation? You have to, I have to say it's two years that I use Drawify, but how long did it take to make this presentation? Do we have to guess? Maybe we yes. maybe put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. How long do you think do you think it takes? The whole presentation, right? Yeah. The yeah. 13 pages. Yeah. Pages. Yeah. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Let's guess it. Yeah. <laughs> One hour, 25 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes with the use of AI. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, Anneke, you ask the question, and in your question is the answer. So it took me one hour. Yeah. But of <laughs> course, I have to admit, I had my storyboard. I don't uh, rely only on what you, what it's, it's just a supporting tool. I made some drawings. I had the story in my head. Uh, but thanks to uh, Drawify, I could upgrade the visual storytelling so it took me one hour from slide one to slide 13 and today um it took me maybe another 10 minutes to uh, make some changes so it's mm -hmm. not only about the uh the time but as well the fun i had in one hour so making those presentations for me it's uh activating your visual intelligence and your personal fun as well. So I don't like to make PowerPoints, um, but really like to use Drawify to make my visuals. So for me, it's about fun. Okay, one hour of fun. Kun, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and of course, the flexibility. Uh, yeah. 
So why I do use, uh, why I'm, I'm the youngest ambassador, not in age, but the last who joined. <laughs> Uh, and what is my ambition is to upload all my personal visuals. It takes some time. Uh, I apologize, Jill. <laughs> um, but it's my ambition for the NLP people here uh, to make real good NLP um, tools um, and to make them in Drawify and share them with the world. So using Drawify uh, to... Um, bring out the world of NLP globally as well. So this is how I use it as well. Um, really, do you know what I didn't really like in uh, past COVID times? Is looking at someone showing software. <laughs> it's something you have to feel yourself. Um, sometimes I'm a bit lazy, so I really invite to go and... Uh, and, and go into uh, draw it fine. But actually, since uh, a couple of weeks, I have a new friend. I have a new friend. And uh, my new friend is Maya. Yeah, and we baptized her uh, in the beginning of September, I remember, Axel. So uh, I went to Leiden to officially uh, welcome our new baby, Maya. And Maya um, is the AI within Drawify, okay? And maybe you had your five words about your passion, and then we can do a little tryout. So this is a little risk, but first I will give some examples which I could use as uh, out of my profession. For example, what you, hear, what you see here is an interface. It's like, the chat GPT, but I have to admit, this looks much better than chat GPT, don't you think? And for the non, uh, uh, yeah, it's only in English at this moment. So it's in English, although I'm Dutch, it's really a good way to practice my English as well. So I ask Maya, hello Maya, make a visual that explains the power of neuro-linguistic programming. Um, I'm just typing. This is not um, <laughs> uh, telling. It's not a Siri. So I will generate a story. And this is always a fascinating uh, moment. Yeah, she's applying expert powers, getting there, and then she's loading it, and boom. This is AI, people. So what you see here is an inspirational visual. And I think that brain, I will change this. I can make this bigger. So this is an example how I can use AI, neuro-linguistic programming, understanding the brain and how it influences our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. I could have write this, but it would have maybe taken some time to write it down. Maya did it for me. Linguistic, exploring the power of language and how it shapes our perception and communication. And programming, harnessing the ability to reprogram our thoughts and behaviors for, for personal growth and success. For the NLP lovers in this virtual room, I think this is a good basic definition what NLP is. So Maya did this for us. I can go further. I can add a scene. And uh, maybe I can ask, oh, uh, make a visual. I just always, I use lots of um, JetGPT and I really make my prompt as I ask it to a good best friend like Hun who's here as well. So I could ask, couldn't make a visual with five bullets uh, why empathy is important. And then I generate it, and I know Kun will give me five reasons why empathy is important, <laughs> but let's Maya <laughs> generate it. So Maya, she looks very international and she 
has lots of magic using her kinesthetic intelligence as well. She looks upside, she sees visuals. Now I'm talking NLP and she has some somatic movements and she imagines in the back, in the front. And wow, uh, the power of empathy. Imagine that you have a training about empathy and you have a last minute call to give that training and you want to deliver and give your audience a how-to cards. Don't jump into your traditional software. Maybe you can use Drawify because you will learn that empathy builds connections, promotes understanding, and change in chances communication, improves personal well-being, and drives positive change. I didn't think about, yeah, I could have made it as well, but AI Drawify did this for me in a couple of minutes and not in 15 minutes, otherwise you must have been listening to the things I was joking about. Um, okay, this is professional. Um, well, there's also a, a, a question from Ben to with a prompt that maybe we can, you can do first yeah. the third one you had in mind maybe, but I think it's really good idea to uh, see what happens. It's always yeah. nice to see what happens with prompts that are put in the chat just to see. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. So while uh, I'm chatting and working with Zoom and I have a Ben who is talking to me and he says, let's make something about uh, cons of traditional meeting and pros as visual dialogue in a meeting. And I can say, yeah, let's generate a visual about this. Maybe um, Maya can help. Enjoy the silence, meanwhile. A tree comes. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. took the tree a little bit literal. <laughs> yeah, she Funny. took the tree uh, quite uh, literal. So it could be a list. I've seen that if you put three as a word, it, it yeah. reacts differently than when, when you use a um, figure. That's maybe right. this is for me a feedback and there's not such as a failure, this feedback. So, and with this feedback, we can upgrade this with human intelligence. So maybe I will uh, uh, change three into a list and maybe we can have an other result. Yeah. In the meantime, I will answer the question of. Oh, yeah, now you get the list. Yeah. <clears throat> About um, a visual of the basic working principle of air conditioning system of a car. Um, so it's technical, and um, I maybe there is not a picture of air conditioning in a car in Joyfy. But, um, and I know from, I think I know from which <laughs> organization this is coming. Um, but if there is something missing, you can always ask um, us to draw it. So if, imagine you are an organization that does training in uh, for people who work with cars, <clears throat> which I think is the case, uh, you can say, you can tell us and you, we can create images and we upload them and then, and then they come in the, the whole system of visuals and then the AI search will also find those visuals. So, yeah. yeah. You can also upload, uh, sorry, Carol, I'm hijacking your session, but you can also no, upload no. Uh, your, your own. Uh, you can Maya, upload, Maya is busy. <laughs> <laughs> you can upload your own images. So you can also upload um, images of air conditioning, for instance. And use them in the in the compositions that have been generated. Yeah. Okay, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Looks. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I can imagine. Uh, for EduCam, that can be a really interesting question for the technical environment you're working in. So in training for technical people, go to EduCam. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, 
I really like air conditioning in the car when I'm traveling and I travel a lot with my daughter. So let's create something that serves my daughter. So make a visual how to make a special birthday cake for my daughter. And after that one, Carl, there's a question about the importance of LinkedIn for PR professionals. So yeah. that's also a prompt you can do afterwards. Yeah. Which is... Thanks, by the way, for all your prompts. I love it when uh, when the prompts come in. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. And then... Uh, but human intelligence is really important as well i think there's a the red line you see is my fault because i was drawing on my own screen so uh, um, maybe sorry for that <laughs> it's not in draw uh, let's see how uh, a visual about uh, the importance Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's yeah. like it says, uh, prompting. Yeah, is a very important one, not only in Maya but in other yeah. AI tools as well. And as an NLP professional, sometimes it's easier to create your prompts. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of LinkedIn. <laughs> which which <laughs> I really like. Which I really like that the people who are or um, uh, Droify ambassadors are really into LinkedIn because we have at least four <laughs> symbols uh, of LinkedIn Excel. So we don't underestimate the power of uh, LinkedIn within uh, Droify. Yeah. Yeah, it could it could maybe be a little bit more diverse in the. But <laughs> have you shown how you can then change the um, the images? Can you show that using the uh, smart search, for instance? Yeah, then you smart. Yeah. Search. You have a prompt for the smart search. Uh, I don't know. Maybe here with the networking, maybe because um, that's what I do when the result is not what I want. So I people shaking hands, for example. For instance, yeah, and then you can. Yeah. I really take it literally, for example, when I use networking, it could be computer. So I really go um, networking, I really go in human behavior in my prompts. And the more you put human behavior in your prompts, the better Maya will understand you. Yeah. This is my um, experience, uh, Axel. Yeah, true. There was also a question about style. That's today it's not possible yet, but it's certainly something we have in the pipeline. Yeah. Now, like I said in the previous session, we are raising or we are trying to raise um, funding from investors. And as soon as that's done, <laughs> we will uh, first develop Maya and uh, choosing styles and, and things like that will certainly be part of it. But right now it's um, it's not possible yet, but it's on the radar. Okay. So... Um... I will look at the time. Okay, 20 to the hour. Yeah. You see, I was uh, one hour that I uh, planning to do, but thanks to Maya, we can do it in 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, bad joke. Um, maybe other questions. Uh, are there maybe yeah. other questions then? Yeah. Is it uh, a free uh, yeah, Jill, as well, you can upload your own logos. For example, I have here some uploads. You see, I have some uploads, my own logo I can add on it. So uh, this is interesting as well. I've been drawing the Menin Gate from my city, Eper. So I drew the Menin Gate and I can upload it. I can make a promo folder. But at this moment, they are not integrated in AI. So you can make your own uh, visual intelligence and upload it as well to integrate. So quite easy to, to do. I will, Carl, would you... Uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Carl, would you, add, would you recreate something that's already been created so we can see how it can be regenerated? 
for yeah. a different look? Uh, yeah, maybe I can. Uh, where... And I don't mean to put you on the spot. It just feels like that's a really cool yeah. option. I think you better go to new to the homepage again. Hey, to the to the first Maya. Yeah, I think that's the safest. Yeah. So uh, the birthday cake. Uh, what is your preference? <laughs> no, or ask about LinkedIn. Maybe we didn't. Maybe maybe. Yeah, we I can just uh, uh, look at it. Uh, where is the link? It in. Yeah. What are the benefits of using LinkedIn? For instance, yeah. what? Oh, sorry. No, too far. <laughs> I was too fast. What are the benefits of using LinkedIn as PR professional? Yeah. Yeah. And in the meantime, there are a few questions that I would like to answer. Um, it is not a free service, so it is a free trial of a month, so you can try it, and if you like it, you can uh, buy it. Um, so it's not a free service. Um, and the main reason is because we have to pay <laughs> for the generation also, and uh, and the, the, um, yeah, the engine, the AI engine behind it costs, of course, money. So that's the reason why we can't do it for free. Um, who has the copyrights? So that's a very, very important one. And I think that's a big differentiator with many other generators. Um, so all the images that are used in this generator are from um, are from Droid Fires. They, um, they have signed a kind of agreement that the people who are using Droidify are, ab are able and uh, allowed to use the images in as well internal as external uh, communication. So you are um, allowed to use everything uh, as you want. So that's that's safe. So that's important because there are a lot of different AI generators, but <laughs> I'm a little bit distracted by the results that we get all the time. <laughs> LinkedIn, all, all the time LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Uh, anyway, so um, so there's no problem with fringing copyrights or anything like that. So that's maybe important when you start using the results of uh, Maya. Yeah. So uh, I think she's not doing a good job for uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> um, if you mixed, I made three of them and I changed a bit the prompt. Uh, There's some little changes. And really important is you use your human intelligence as well. Yeah. If you regenerate some and you see some small differences or big differences, make your own puzzle, make your own visual based of what AI uh, uh, regenerates uh, or generates for you. So regenerating can be interesting. There are sometimes small changes but those small changes can be an opportunity to bring uh, a better version in your own way. So that's yeah. what I do. Sometimes I uh, I regenerate the, the prompt. And there are, here it's a bit small changes. Yeah. But thanks God that AI is not perfect. <laughs> uh, another question. The sizes are horizontal. We have indeed chosen the screen size because when we look at how Droify is used, we saw that 95% of all people use a screen size. But uh, if you want to resize, Carl, can you maybe show if you go to resize wait, 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 wait. on top? Yeah. So you can always uh, go to resize. So on top. <laughs> yeah, I was top just left. removing that uh, annoying. Ah, that red line. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. So uh, you can resize. So you can always uh, go to resize and then change the size of your project yeah. and it will change all the pages. Um, so the generation happens in the screen format right now. It can be something that will be different in the future, but right now we always generate in the screen size, but afterwards you can change whatever you want and you can choose the size you want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sharing is an important as well. You can go uh, PNG, GPEG and PDF. So. In the example I made uh, was uh, JPEG, and then I uploaded them in uh, PowerPoint. So uh, yes. So any other questions? Uh, 
Okay. So we did some uh, cases and a demonstration and I was really happy, happy to show my visual passion and as well grateful to uh, Droify that I can bring my visual passion uh, to a, a higher level. So really grateful and grateful that I can be part of this project as well as an ambassador. And uh, I'm really happy to connect to all of you. If you have any question about visualization, if you think that I can inspire you in some way, uh, you can connect to me. You will find me somewhere and you can find mm -hmm. me through Drawify LinkedIn, but I'm really happy to show my passion, to show my love for visualization. And if I could have, if I would have predicted this as a child, I would never believe that moment that this tool, uh, this passion, this talent brought me where I am at this moment, but still love to grow. Thank you. Thank you, Carl, for uh, being here. Thank you for doing this session. Uh, I feel in everything that you have been preparing this really, really well. So thank you for that. That's not, I don't think that's for granted. So thank you very much. Uh, also, thank you everyone for all your nice questions and interest. Um, that's uh, that's amazing. <laughs> you can uh, continue the conversation with us. And by the way, we still have 10 minutes. So you can also <laughs> ask your questions now if you want. Um, and yeah, Carl, you forget to say he's an ambassador also because he's a dry fire. And yeah. after this session, we will send a mail with a recording and we will also put his ambassador code, but you can also put it already in the, in the chat if you want, Carl. Uh, so uh, if, my ambassador, yeah. I'm, I'm really bad in, uh, administration. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I will put it in the, we'll put it in the, in the wait, chat, wait, 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 in, wait, the, wait. in the mail, uh, because, okay. um, he has been doing a lot of promo already, but <laughs> uh, he can also promo himself. So if you uh, would buy uh, Maya and you use, and by the way, there was a question about it. It's indeed only in the hero version. So make sure you take the right plan. Um, so if you would buy it and you use his code, then you get a 30% discount. So yeah. it, uh, it's worth it uh, using his, uh, his ambassador code. Yeah, voila. Uh, <laughs> voila. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then I'm looking because I see another uh, quest yeah. questions. Okay, thanks. It's uh, so the the code is in the in the chat. Other yeah. questions that we can answer? You can ask personal things as well if you don't have any question about a Maya AI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yes, Kyoko, it is, it's available around the world. So yes. uh, I think we are in over 90 countries already but um, yes. yeah, yeah some people from japan would be nice <laughs> <laughs> okay so if there are no uh, more questions then i want to thank everyone to be here for being here and uh, i hope to see your creations um, by the way, we're just in the beginning of Maya. You will see over the coming months, it will change, okay. it will evolve, it will become smarter. So um, I'm looking forward to see everything that's happening and uh, to see everything that you create with it. I <laughs> promised Ben, I promised Ben about the five values and passions. So ah, ah. I would, would really feel bad, Ben, that I cannot do the last AI with your five passions. So Okay, we will finish with that. Go for it, uh, Carl. <laughs> Start with passion, let's end with passion, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. I will uh, <laughs> just have a look at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, this, yes. Um, so, Ben, are you still there with your passions? Ah, uh, Tom, yeah. Ben, 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 Ben. Oh. <laughs> Ben, ah. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a non-official part, so it's just. Uh, mm -hmm. to... Do I have to stop the recording, or is, is it very? <laughs> <laughs>
yeah, traditional meeting. And uh, I'm looking for the chat of Ben. Uh, uh, ben is Ben is still there, but Ben, are you asking for your passions or what kind of yeah. passions or values? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Make a visual. Yeah. Um, values. I will see. So it's an interesting exercise. Yeah. So these are Ben's passions or values. Uh, what's important for him? Mm. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, and you see there are different styles and uh, with this illustrations, uh, you can search by uh, ambassador, uh, artist and then you can uh, add some so that they are more congruent and consequent in style but this is for the next step so ben i hope i served you with this uh, visual thank you for this dialogue for this effective meeting and i hope you find solutions and that you have less time in meetings and fun at work with drawify thank you Thanks again, everyone. Um, thanks for joining and see you the next seeing you the next session. Which Bye. Find yet. <laughs> bye bye.